Hello everybody, it's Boy 99 coming at you with a Hot Wheels RLC review. This is going to be the first RLC model of 2024 that I'm going to review. So please let me know if you guys enjoy this one. I really do want to get myself out there and expose myself and to start conversations in the Hot Wheels community. I will be honest, uh, I have a lot of mixed thoughts about this, but let's get right into this review. Now, starting off with this review, uh, the paint and the Art Deco is really awesome in the box. I think it's amazing. It really represents the car very well. I also like the description in the back. Uh, if you guys want to read that, feel free to pause it. Uh, the video isn't going to go anywhere, but we're going to get on with this review. So unboxing it, we have a Spectra Flame Orange McLaren F1. And I really do like the acrylic box. These are always my favorite ones to get because uh, you get to unbox it and you get to actually have the car. When it's packaged, you you kind of destroy that collector value by opening it. You can only open it once, you can't put it back in the packaging. But with this one, you can put it back in the acrylic case and you can display it. Um, that's why I love these way more than the type of cardboard packaging that the regular ones come in. So let's uh, unbox this. Okay, so now that I unboxed it, this is what the car is really going to look like outside the acrylic case. And it's a very pretty car. I really do like the Spectra Flame Orange. And the very special feature with this car is the doors. And uh, unfortunately, the doors are a little bit tricky to open and keep open because, again, it's made out of Spectra Flame Chrome. So because of the, the paint application, it, it's, uh, it's typically hard to just keep these things open without it, one of them falling. Um, so that is one of the things I like. I also like the rims on this one too. I think it looks really nice. Uh, the interior, the only interior detail that I can see is just the brown seat in the front and the sides because apparently this car has three seats, which is really weird. But another detail that I really like is the door panel detail. Uh, I know you guys can't see that. I'll, I'll try to get better photos, but um, it actually has door paneling on the inside of the doors, which is a really nice feature. Uh, talking about the back, the back has um, painted details. I'm gonna try zooming in so you guys can see that a little bit more better. All right, now that I got this thing focused, uh, this is the rear details of the car. The taillights are painted, especially the turn signals, and you have that McLaren symbol in the rear. I really do like the exhaust details or the grill details that is uh, right over there. And uh, the rear windows are also really nice, uh, especially the exhausts. The exhausts are okay. I mean, they're not like silver. They don't really speak out to me. It's just, it's just part of the base of the car. So now we're gonna talk about the front. And again, this is where I kind of have a lot of pet peeves, especially with the vinyl deco headlights or the lensed headlights that aren't really lensed, it's, it's painted. And uh, it looks it looks fine. It looks okay. It, it and honestly doesn't really distract me that much. It, it's it's just kind of annoying that we can't just have real lensed headlights anymore. They used to do it. Now they don't do it anymore. And I wonder if the reason is because there's just a lot of time and development that goes into it, and it just doesn't look right, or if it's just a, a time thing. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, these are painted they are not real. But even if it is painted, it still looks pretty decent. So I'm not gonna knock it for that. So now I unscrewed the car from its base. So let's look underneath. Uh, this is a really nice smooth underbody. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what it looks like in the real life car since this is a formula car or a race car. It needs to be extremely smooth for aerodynamics, which is uh, really cool. So this is where I'm gonna get into what I don't like about this. I'm not going to be nice to it anymore. So although the Spectra Flame Orange is really nice, there are a lot of paint defects. I know you guys can't see it on this camera, and perhaps you can, but I'm going to show you guys more detailed pics of what I'm talking about. But this car has a lot of paint defects. It looks like it has like orange peeling or like the polish is uh, coming off. It looks like a stain and that really just takes a dump in my cereal. <laughs> it, it, it really just ruins it for me and i love this car i love the mclaren f1 i think it's a an iconic 
exotic sp uh, sports car. And whenever I think about the McLaren F1, I think of, of basically um, the racetracks and um, famous people that are able to afford this. I think Mr. Bean has a McLaren F1. I'm not entirely sure. It's a British, it's a British exotic sports car. And it, it really just ruins it for me when I see painting defects like this. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's not possible for one out of 30,000 cars to have a defect, but it sucks that it happened to me. And another thing I don't like is that this door sticks out more than this other door. And that really ruins it for me in a big way. It kind of takes away from the beauty that this car has is knowing that one door sticks out more than the other that really just really gets me frustrated because I paid $35 for this I paid $35 for this and that's not including shipping so technically I paid 40 for this and the doors are not uh, fully flush with the body of the car so that is a huge problem for me because when hot when Mattel is charging people thirty five dollars for uh, a Hot Wheels RLC and they can't really get the QC right because I've heard other reports of the QC of this car not being good that that to me really just feels like a slap in the face and I'm not trying to dock the people who created this car the designers who worked hard to get this car right they did an amazing job with this car but it's the qc issues and the pricing that i don't really agree with for 35 dollars, i could get two mini gt mclaren f1s and for this it it's just it's insulting to say the least one thing that i also notice is that this thing doesn't have any mirrors the picture has mirrors but this doesn't have any mirrors so i know that the designers kind of came out and said and had an explanation as to why this one doesn't have any mirrors and it makes sense because uh, the, of the chrome die cast spectra flame they can't because it's such a small piece they can't just have it on the car I mean they could do that rubber thing but the color just won't match up but then again $35 guys it's it's $35 this is $10 above the normal price and for that, I just can't recommend getting this, especially now that it's sold out. They're, these are going to be selling at a premium. They're going to be selling for more than $45. They're probably going to be selling for $60. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the McLaren F1. Tell me what you think about this video. Please subscribe and like. It really does help a lot. Share this video. Share this with friends, family. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.